Hi, Rise Keith. I'm just going to clarify something because a few people are having difficulty with the batteries. When you're using the batteries, the first thing you must do is make sure you've got a good communication. If you're setting system in parallel, all batteries must be connected together on a common buzz bar. Very simple operation. I've got two batteries here. Um, these are set up the same as the SunSync one. So this is USED, but the SunSync is very similar. Make sure your batteries are talking to each other. On the batteries, you have dip switches. If you look at the manual, it will tell you a master and a slave. One becomes master, the other slave, and you have your connection between. You have a canvas cable. Your canvas cable come with the battery. There are two ends to it. One says PCS, one says BMS, BMS battery management system. The battery management system must plug into the master. Simple as the dip switch setting will be on your instruction manual. manual and you can see here our master is one dip switch up, slave is two dip switch up, and these are the dip switches on the unit. Plug if you go on to the manual, so this is the inverter manual, so always keep your manuals handy because I always say it's important to keep manuals handy. So this is actually is installing a generator manual, but it doesn't matter, it all has the same information. Go through the manual, look at the type of battery, and it will tell you. And in fact, if I go on here. I'm looking for canvas zero, canvas and zero. So I plug this into the canvas here and it will go into the canvas. I go onto the screen here and I go onto ba uh, battery, battery setting here, lithium, and you see can and it is zero, okay? And that's exactly corresponds to the manual. If I press okay, and if I go onto the lithium setup, you see here is the screen and it will give you the information. If I will escape this now and show you very clearly what happened is if I haven't got communication, so if I unplug, my communication cable, so as if it's not working properly. There you go, you can see now. So the information is just the refresh rate. The information is gone, and I can plug back into here, and you see immediately the information comes back. And on here, it is showing everything, it's showing the battery, state of charge, the temperature, everything about the battery, all the information is shown clearly on the screen. So that's it. It's very, very simple to make sure your batteries communicate. If your battery is not communicating with the inverter, then you're at a loss because anything, anything you're gonna do is gonna hit your problems. So first of all, please make sure your battery is talking to your inverter. That's talking good. Once you know that's okay, then everything is much easier. Thanks for watching.